Hello everybody to the last match of Phase 1 Summer League, uh, Summer Grunt League 2023. Um, we have two guys who have lost their first uh, two matches uh, to compete for bragging rights or whatever you want to call it. Maybe just a fun game to uh, let the season end for them. It's uh, Mr. T versus Nate Andrews and we can see the lineups for our Uhlock here. Mr. T going with... Uh, the medic, para, two sappers and a scout. Nate going with a grenadier, two sappers, a gunner and a scout. So all in all, kind of similar. Let's see how it will play out for him. Okay, first turn goes to Mr. T. Let's see, he could be going for the Grenadier here to kind of even the odds. To uh, kind of shut down a strong pick. He's taking quite some time. I mean, we had just had a perfect training session without any problems. I'm not sure, maybe he's not... Uh, focusing the window. Uh, there you go. So, going straight for Middle Island. And there's a sapper and scout up here. So maybe he's just focusing the uh, jetpack, which does make sense. It's a good pickup. And he also could shut down the poison game. Yeah, not enough time for any more uh, jetpacks. But does shut down the poison game with the body block as well. The terrible Mosco. Yes. Ah, uh, forget about it. <laughs> uh, Grenadier here. Let's see, those are, I think, just mark launchers, yes. So nothing to extend his big arsenal. Just needs to find a target for himself now. All of these pigs have been kind of weirdly distributed among the islands. And he goes for an odd rocket launcher. Long range rocket launcher. It's a very hard target to hit, but shit, that should work. Maybe not full damage, but full damage anyway. Very good shot there. And some extra damage for water. Bring the scout on maybe 60 HP. And yeah, let's see the answer to that. So this guy is pretty packed now with the rocket launcher. Could just use his three jetpacks, but it takes his time. Since the gravity is so far away, it's also not an easy target for Mr. T to hit. And he's rather opting for getting that. TNT crate. Uh, yeah, doesn't destroy the crate accidentally. Almost looked like that. He takes the bazooka out, gets the crate, and last second. Oh, that's too far. That's a shame. But execution was there. It was a bit lacking, but the idea was good enough. Now let's see if Nate can keep his constant damage up. Oh. Don't want to hack the uh, scout too tight. Otherwise you're going to run into a problem later on. Just goes for a simple grenade launcher. The gren grenade launcher love for these newcomers is uh, pretty there, pretty much there, but that's a bit of an overshot. So two misses in a row. Nothing gained, nothing lost for these two guys. You know, except the TNT crate, but... He also had two rocket launchers, so... I, I'm i not sure if he really needed that TNT, but... In any way... Let's see how this TNT can play out. There's a 
big out of bounds area in the back. Like, not, not out of bounds, but it could lead to an out of bounds kill, I guess? Oh, but you don't want to be... Okay, you got the uh, height difference there, but is that going to be enough to protect him? It is. Now let's see the slide. Wow. That's a killer move from uh, Mr. T. Very well executed. Maybe something we would need to change in the future. Um, but, alas. Um, it's also something you might not be able to pick up on in 30 seconds. Um, if you get this lucky spawn, you still might be able to do it. But, yeah, that's a very big advantage for Mr. T now, having gotten rid of a full HP sapper in one move. And now this is a bit of a hard shot if you don't adjust your angle. I am not sure, but it does do 12 damage. Might have opted it. Better idea would have been uh, to opt for a mortar strike there, or a mortar shot. But yeah, so she proves to be really a fan of crates. Looking for the uh, next one, I guess. Having a bit of trouble maneuvering here. But gets there in the end. So in terms of arsenal and damage dealt, definitely a, in the lead right now. But where does he go next? Good old shrapnel. Let's see where that might head. Okay, gets 18 damage, better than nothing. There is the skip turn for the scout who is in uh, the last turn of Nate's lineup. And he already got his turn because the gunner basically. No, the. Uh, the sapper basically got evaporized. I believe. Yeah. So that's a oh that's a big swim. That's like 30 damage for free. You do want to avoid that, but let's see if that will bite him. Oh, another swim. Okay, make it 40. And I don't think that will reach. That's a very. Never mind then. Don't mind me. Perfect throw. Getting the grenadier in the end. But he shut up for more damage in this future turns. This guy can be a pretty big danger if um, Nate uses his potential to the max. Like a maximum damage potential of 105 damage in three turns in a row is not a joke with these uh, cluster grenades. But he rather seems to opt for the grenade, uh, the rocket launcher. Okay, then. Uh, not sure about that. And I'm not even sure that's gonna do damage. Yeah. Not the case because of the curve or of the uh, hill. Yeah, let's dump some jetpacks here. So he seems to be in good form right now. Seems to be the favorite right now in this match. He also very barely was able to not qualify. He had his chances uh, against Mr. Zarin. Uh, where he went up uh, with... At least he, he won one map, but couldn't quite finish it off in the end. If I remember correctly, at least. Yeah. Two jetpacks and a crank. Good turn overall. And this can be big, big damage. Unless you go for a different target, of course. Yeah, Nate kind of missing his potential there. The scout is in a very, very dangerous um, position for water damage. This map is basically built for making use of those piles of water uh, to the fullest potential. Can, be a, can get a bit unlucky with spawns here as well. 
And that doesn't look like the best direction, but it will do at least 49 damage. So can't blame that. Even a 50. Plus water right down the middle. Gets a bit lucky with the spin. So yeah. Let's see the answer to this. A slip. Aha. Okay, good jetpack with some extra water damage. Maybe another one? Yeah, turn him over to the other side, which is still fine. It's CHHP, it's at 85, so pretty good. A pretty good amount left. Let's see this TNT. Ah, it's probably gonna land on the surface, not in the water. Oh, very slightly misses it, but it's just one HP of water damage. Maybe a 1.5, uh, some might say. This water damage does tend to go down um, different than other damage. So, yeah, it's a pretty good spot for a bazooka. Just gotta make sure you get the power right. Sure, why you would switch the angle here, but uh, yeah, it's a rough shot. Uh, get self damage, no water damage. Might need to improve on that one. And here's another TNT guy who's going to slip a bunch. If you can make that TNT work and not lose any more turns, it's pretty much over for the first map already. Uh, Mr. T has proven that he can make use of the water. He knows who to target at least uh, for safe damage. Didn't take much of self damage, which is always a good thing. There he aims it pretty, pretty fairly at the uh, water pond, but I believe it might take off to the right a bit too much. Never mind. Pretty good. Very good. Gets a bit lucky with the turn. Unlucky, however you want to see it. There's another skip turn and another TNT coming. So, nothing that... Oh, you could even use the mines as well. But not, not a lot Nate can do here anymore. Although, um, Mr. T went in with the uh, first turn advantage. Uh, gotta always count that in, but I don't think that helped him that much that it ruled this game for him from the beginning. It has come down to some mistakes from Nate. Uh, and that definitely wasn't the best swim over that, but made it work out in the end for the nice number. Let's see. Struggles to find a target right now. Um, you know, at some point I would even say this is the time for a grenade launcher, but also slightly reaches the uh, grenadier for 20 damage. And the grenade does its work. No water damage. So... Yeah, what left? <laughs> and eight maybe thinking of what to do here. That is a pretty good target for the cluster grenade. He can make it work. I believe he's on 80 HP damage and that's... Oh god, okay. Well, <laughs> you can kind of tell Knight has given up on this match, but uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, hasn't been really getting his foot into the door in this game and... Uh, yeah, this is also not the right He will only hit himself as well. And that's a funny little push there, but... Yeah, this guy... Oh, never mind. This guy was on 47. I believe he... I thought he was higher in HP, which... 
But still, if he would have gone for an excite explosive, this was a good target as well for that. Yeah, Mr. T seeing the potential for a turn skip here. Making it easier to close out the game even earlier. There you go. Nicely executed. This guy's also left with 19 HP, so another potential turn skip candidate, but I don't think it will come to that. Uh, since um, Mr. T is still having all his bigs. Although that is a nice TNT, I gotta say. We we'll definitely have both. We'll do some fine water damage on the sapper. Okay, yeah, but you can see the health bar. It does, does make it pretty clear that uh, who is in the lead here. And to be fair, Mr. T can pretty much finish it now. He just needs to drop that TNT onto the sapper here. And then stun the uh, scout that's right next to him with the trank. And that would probably finish it already. I'm not sure how much HP the scout has got left, but it can't be that much. There you go. Might not want to body block him now, but sure. It's your call, dude. It's eight extra damage. So are we gonna see the HP of this guy? Uh, turn skip first. Yeah. Oh my god, look at look at that health bar, Jesus. Okay. I have rarely seen such a dominant health bar. Um But yeah, it's pretty obvious that after that swim with the Grenadier, Nate has kind of given up on this matchup. Uh, at least this map. He still has one map to go. And uh well at least. And that's a Normally this would be a terrible idea, but since he's gonna skip anyway, uh, this could actually make him go... Uh, uh, make him give... Uh, make him... Yeah, that's a kill already. Never mind then. Gets him the survival bonus. Rare occurrence. I don't think we have seen it so far in this Grand Lake, but um, yeah, definitely one. Uh, right now and let's see how it will turn out on the second map which will be ice low see you there here we are map two ice flow uh, fan favorite and mr t is bringing big explosive guys to this one and uh, nate is also bringing explosive but a bit of a more balanced lineup with the medic and scout in tow so yeah and you will also go first so let's see how that works out for him he gets to definitely pick one to crank and shut down and he's not spawning on the island so he has a bunch of time to choose his target as well Looks good over there. Oh, but oh god, no! You 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 do want to use the body block there, but and that misses. It very slightly misses. Ah, uh, it, it's yeah, it's kind of a told story right now. <laughs> for for an AD he has been rather unlucky, or he hasn't been performing up to up to the uh, skill of the other guys. He still, of course, can improve. Everybody can improve in this game. Nobody has reached the skill ceiling, I would assume. And, uh... It's a weird spawn. You barely got to see that pig there due to the uh, roof tiles, right? So, yeah, that's a prime target now for Mr. T. He Oh, he's having some issues with the connection. 
Okay, I, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like there he's back. And, uh, okay, now I'm gonna hop in there and see if everything's fine with them. Okay, here we are, back again. Uh, there did, was a, a, a big connection uh, issue. Uh, that's not quite not enough time. Might have been due to the reconnect to the game, but um, yeah, we, we managed to solve it. It was just a slight increase in ping. But now we're back. Everything should work fine. And yeah. Nate looking for his target. Always good to position yourself. A bit off the uh, poisonous water or water altogether and uh, throwing this guy into the uh, kind of semi body block. Ah, uh, hi. I'm, I'm not sure if you want to do this, but. Okay, I'll be my guest. Uh, doesn't get the water damage, but now he has two picks right next to each other that are just waiting to be jetpacked from this guy. Uh. Although it might be the greed for crates corrupting Mr. T right now. I'm not sure why what he's waiting on. He wasted like 15 seconds on this island. If he's still having lag, he can always press stop. He always want to advise that. And uh, yeah, he does have enough time now to throw out a jetpack and something else. And this water does play him certain tricks on him. Does take some time away, but should be enough, but a uh, bit of a too slow movement there. He could have also pulled out the weapon earlier, but yeah, not enough time for him now. Let's see. Oh, you want to be careful around those trees. I think the last... Th oh, no. No. Oh, that was a very, very... Uh, dangerous uh, flight and release. You can group them up though. Setup is here. I am not sure what that plan is, but it does do some water damage on the gunner. And yeah, he's going with a more surefire way, but. Uh, doesn't quite get the anger right and also I never I, I really dislike using the uh, the cattle prod for this because you basically set yourself up for future water damage yourself right in any case um, Mr. T looking for a way to get down here and I don't know. <laughs> it seems like he has never seen the part of this map before. Uh, it could, it can be a bit rough to navigate in. Oh no, you can't go there. Uh, there's the map order, my friend. Uh, there's no way to get out of this one. Unless you do a slight risky jump. He wants to go for the shrapnel, but that's a bit too long. Might have, could have made it work with the uh, very low angle and using the uh, hill as a ramp, sort of, but didn't come into his mind right there. So there's a bunch of guys rode up on the uh, shore of this one. It's a bit of an overshot, but gets 16 damage in. Oh, don't want to get that poison water. And he doesn't. He manages to run around the pond and... Ah, huh, where is he going for now? You can do some shenanigans with the uh, flamethrower here on the shore. 
Yeah, this guy's a prime setup for that. Lowers the angle a bit. That should work. That's, I would say, an almost perfect execution. There was a ton of damage. He was on full HP and went down to 37, so around 93 HP. Actually, one of the best ones I've seen around in a long time. And now a simple scout shot. It could actually do some good water damage if he needs to turn around here. Yeah, get some 5 on top. Why not? Better than to risk it with a uh, grenade launcher. And, oh, okay. The trick worked once. Let's see it again. Nah. Yeah, that's the right option. Going for the bazooka on the double hit. The, uh, oh, no. Come on. You, you saw the grouping up there. It's it's literally it's right there. Okay. It always hurts for me to see something like this, but I can understand if you're if you have so many options that you kind of don't see this. But it looks like he does still aim for it in the end. Just needs to make sure to hit this one. Oh no. Okay, that was very short of becoming a a wet shot. Makes it work in the end and. Yeah, as you can see, the helper is right straight down in the middle, but um, due to that double hit, it definitely turned in favor of uh, Mr. T. Although that heal might prove beneficial. So let's see. Where's the trank going? I hope. He is going for the drink. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, why not? A safe hit this time. Doesn't want to risk another miss. So. Gets a future turn skip. And if you look at the map, that's a bunch of pigs in one place. Uh, Kinda hard to tell where, where to go for now. Like, if he had the jetpack left, the medic could be an easy target for that. And he has that exact thing in mind, it seems. He doesn't have a... Uh, a uh, scout for a future turn skip with the poison, but... That shouldn't be an issue, and... Yeah, oh god, okay. Yeah, I, I guess it makes sense, kind of. Let's see the shot. Perfectly. It does only throw the uh, power into the water and... Okay, well, the gunner's gonna take a bunch of damage still. Like, full 40 plus a 20 and, like, one water damage. Still, though, not the worst move, I would say. Getting... I could have gotten rid of that power as well, but... Just seeing that it wasn't meant to be. Now Nate can capitalize on. Okay, no, 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 no. Not this guy. He's the only one on solo HP that you don't need to do that. Oh, and that's a too early release. Okay, yeah, Nate's kind of standing in his own way a bit here. He has big potential to. Turn this around to, to make this, like, you can see the HP is, HP bar is straight down the middle now uh, due to his skip. But, um, who are you going to get rid of with, oh, that's a big setup. Oh, but that's way too early of a release. I don't know why he's doing that early release, but he can still use a bazooka here for a good amount of damage. Just, oh no. You need more distance. That might be a wet shot. Never mind. It's a double hit, actually. That was barely the range the gunner could be hit by, I guess. And overall, 48 damage. And actually, I'm not quite sure why the uh, health bar is so. so far in the middle. Because this guy's still full HP. I know the scout from Nate might be 
uh, full HP as well, but he still has all pigs alive. Like, he hasn't lost a single pig yet in this whole match. So I'm quite unsure who the health providers are for Nate, but it might just be the two pigs, or like the one pig that's visible and the scout. That's a long way. Will he find another target? It's kind of tough. He does see the blue guy, but I don't... Yeah, no, not with that power. It's not gonna reach the uh, roof. Hmm. And now you have to make decisions. Who is the one you... Oh, you don't want to go for that guy. You don't want to go for anybody ex ex except the uh, per, I guess, uh, the sapper, I guess. The sapper is in a pretty dangerous spot there. He can get easily poisoned with a TNT. Also just might throw him into the body block mix with the uh, para on the coast. But yeah, this is a... Yeah, just place it down. Easy P... Oh no, that's way too close to him. It will just shoot him straight upwards i think also the he put himself into a very dangerous spot there with the water right in his back okay not to learn from this match but okay suddenly <laughs> suddenly um was to realize this guy is still here as well it's kind of a meme already with the uh scouts staying on full hp till the end And they are a very uh, delicate, very good tool to to your end game if you can keep them alive. So I would always suggest that you might want to get rid of them first. And that's a lot of damage, a lot of self damage. It's a rocket launcher here, but make sure you get this shot off right. That looks good. Thirty-seven, some extra water damage. Fine move. Although, that self-damage could have been avoided. So... Oh my, the game's lagging so much due to the weather and the amount of pigs being displayed. <laughs> no emulator in this world can avoid that, sadly. Uh, but who you target here? Yeah, like... Kind of everybody is a bit of a, a bit of an awkward target. I guess, but he will be left on 9 HP. So how are you gonna get rid of that? With a 40 HP damage bazooka? That's not really efficient. But... It sure is a safe way to get rid of him, so... Let's see. But I'll come down to who can make the least amount of mistakes now. Like you don't want to hit your own pigs. You don't want to get poisoned. Don't want to poison skip. And the scout has a fair amount of protection actually from uh, explosives now. Although, I don't know what will happen if you would put the flamethrower against him. He might just glitch through. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that's. I was just gonna say, that is terrible positioning, but. He notices it, but. That's a good direction for water damage, but he will self-hit there. Although he does more damage to the uh, the sapper uh, from the enemy team than himself. And this screams for a jetpack, but I believe he's out. So... Yeah. Pretty unfortunate there. And while this might be a good idea to get him there, I do believe it's... Uh, who's next? A, uh, it was just a gunner from Mr. T. A gunner after that? Yeah, it would have just been him, so... But, um, nevertheless, he did get the uh, poison damage in, which is fine. And, but this is a difficult... <laughs> yeah, this is not, not a good positioning from him here. It's very tough with all these pigs in one place, I gotta say. It's very hard to position yourself adequately and... Um, I guess this just couldn't be avoided at this point. 
taking a long time with the shot, which I do I get. I, like, I get the struggle of... Uh, well, this might be a bit too short. Did he get the second guy? Okay, he definitely got himself there. And the other guy is still on 4 HP. That was a pretty big blunder there. Uh, these guys are just set up for a double hit with the uh, bazooka. No, don't. Just because... <clears throat> just because it worked once, it... It's not the best choice now. It really isn't. Although... Getting poison into the mix, oh, and that might not even work. Yeah. Okay, he just got a bit lucky there. With the last... Uh, kind of push... You could get. So... I haven't seen they really utilize the poison skips, so I'm not quite sure how the poison, poison, poisons he applied will help him here, but we'll see. This definitely will not help Mr. T as well, like, oh god, this guy might be in big trouble. He will take the full 20 damage from the explosion, and I, unless he takes more than 12 damage from the water, he will skip his turn at some point if it's not avoided by Mr. T and a very nice shot very good damage utilization he was on 39 HP so a 40 is very preem let's hear it we hear the water and there's the kill so no turn skip that's good for uh, Mr. T and oh yeah that's a pretty good setup for a turn skip although i'm not quite sure which one will take his turn first wait the power up perish right yeah it will be the sapper next the sapper is the absolute best target right now although you can't really well never mind then uh this guy's on nine hp uh, i'm not sure if you really needed to use a tnt here Dude, but okay. Yeah, a, a lot of wasted potential. Not quite sure about the health by now. This guy will take some hefty damage as he's if he is thrown into that poison pit. He still got that healthy scout. It might be on 80 HP or something. And we still have that healthy guy from Mr. T uh, in that corner. So, not sure how he will suffice, but yeah, that's a pretty good turn. Pretty good damage. We'll definitely get the poison in. Might even get a turn skip. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a turn skip. All right. Oh, God. Okay. So... Bit of a lucky turn from there. That shot is a must now. Get that 40 in. Why not? Okay, at this point, I don't know. At this point, I, I, I'm not going to ask any questions anymore. Why are you not shooting him with the sniper rifle? Dude, he will literally skip turn to that. Are you just trying to avoid that? Uh, I mean... I, I, I like I don't want to flame these guys too much, but that's very 101. You, you could have just simply shot him, and unless Mr. T ha would avoid it with the uh, six head jumps, uh, or I don't know, an explosive due to that could hit double. Oh God! Yeah, now Mr. T only needs basically he needs to do. 250s, which he has the uh, potential to. He has a rocket launcher. He, I believe, the sapper still has a TNT. So why not finish it off with that? That's too short, but might still get some water damage. Never mind. Here comes the turn skip. And this could be the final turn. Let's see if he can make it work. I think the uh, scout is still on 60-something HP. And 
Yeah, he does have all his TNTs left. Might have skipped a few turns. Might have used some other weapons. Oh no, I think... Okay. Yeah, does this again. Although it might put him very close to the edge of the uh, other side of this pond. Or never mind. Yeah, that should be enough. There you go. Yeah, good job for Mr. T utilizing his last opportunities here. Um, Nate kind of fumbled this one in the end, but uh, nevertheless, it's something to learn from him. And uh, yeah, this is the absolute last match of um, the Phase 1 from Grand League Summer 2023. All other matches have been recorded and um, looking very forward to the uh, group phase. A lot of um, pretty pretty good potential, uh, potentially good guys. So, um, yeah. So I hope you had fun watching this last match for phase one. See you in phase two when the guys uh, will go even more ham. And yeah, join the Discord. That's all I got to say. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.